just like, okay, I had three boyfriends, zippity doo dah. Like last night was the 4th of July for us. Really? I, Ritz, that's the national... Uh, national Independence yes. Day? Yeah. And since I'm free now, you know, it makes me really happy. So what I did is I lit some sparklers in the room and just put a, a red, white, and blue like flag bikini on and ran around through the hotel room. Whoosh. <laughs> like I've always been someone that's loved dressing up and wearing little things. I mean, I have pictures of myself on the beach as a six-year-old posing in a bikini in the sand. I mean, it's obvious that <laughs> there was a little bit of a ham in the development there. No, but and you, you look like the type that got implants. Well, honey, oh. you look like the type that got implants because I'm sitting here looking like a flat-chested eighth grader and you look like Pamela Lee's cousin, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Back to my earrings. Yes. yes. Containing about ten ballots. Ten. Yeah. We're talking five, maybe four. <laughs> hey, I'm Mariah, and this is my friend Rachel. Hello. I did homework for Glamour magazine, <laughs> and we are glamorous. So this is ten random facts about me. Who? Me. Oh, right. <laughs> number one, I shouldn't be doing this right now. I have a cold right now. And then number two is if I can't spell. Number three, I always had a cheat list in school if I could get away with it. It wasn't this big like, here's my cheat list. But it would be little, and I would probably put it in here or right. something. I can't get rid of the paper because it has my Can answers I hold on the paper? it. Can I hold the paper? We interrupt this program for an important bulletin. My name is Mariah Carey, and I'm here to talk about my new hair product. <laughs> It's really good. The emollient <laughs> that I've used on Rachel's hair. Do you see the shine? So um, we're going to keep it going with the list of things that... Uh, okay, and, sorry. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Sometimes you might miss a jewel. I mean, it might be just... Number four, they don't understand the people that work with me. We just love Very each other. Very considerate. Yes, we do. Not every... Yeah, I mean, we, we, we do. do. Right, it's ten random facts about me. Shut up! I was on a roll on whistle. If you want to whistle, then get in the camera. Number five, I can't do anything mathematical. Number six, I have 500 hours of beauty school. I suggested the hazelnut, did I not? Yes. What's the ones <laughs> that the squirrels save in the winter? Not the artist. Not Acorn. <laughs> His name is Acorn, not Acorn. Have you seen her? Number seven, one of the things people don't know about me is I can just make people appear for real at the drop of a hat. Isn't that an amazing trait that I have? Oh my goodness. Can't nobody, can nobody tell me nothing. All right, edit that out. Edit, 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 edit out. Number eight, I love folk that really have a, a strong sense of who they are. Number nine is, so what you really don't know is that it's 3 a.m. and we're about to go finish a song. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Number 10, I am working on my new album which is not yet it which is as yet untitled don't bite that title because that's not the actual <laughs> title okay okay so i don't need to see somebody coming out with as yet untitled copying the rainbow album bye. keep that in bye <laughs> <laughs> thanks you guys we have fun to be Shake it, baby. Shake it, baby, baby. Hold on, I just messed up your hair. Okay. First and last, baby. First and last. Oh, I'm so excited for this call. I just can't contain it. The excitement is bubbling over inside me. If I wait one more minute, I might explode. So I don't think I can handle waiting another minute to talk to you. Now, burger. Okay. Time to eat. Look, cheeseburgers, a dollar sixty. Okay, well, I have twenty dollars. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> uh, you in love at the moment? Um. Well, I've heard that there's a, there's a person who, when they ask them about their personal life, they just do this to them. Who does that? Wait a minute, I they should know that. They don't mean to be I'd... mean. They don't want to be mean. They just don't want to talk about it. But me, I would have to do that, but I would start laughing. That, that's not you. <laughs> that is, that's Avril Lavigne. She would do that. Really? She's oh, I done. wasn't talking about her. And the person I was talking about is actually really cool and... Christina Aguilera? No. Um, uh... but anyway. <laughs> Someone said that you've made something like two hundred million dollars or something. Me? Yeah. Well, it ain't in my bank account. <laughs> and notice the difference. There's a little size difference. Why is that, Mariah? Well, it will be our fabulous tour diet, <laughs> which consists of air. I am. Where are we? We're in London. No, 
outside London, the airport. Luton Airport. Luton Airport. So naturally, I have a bunch of interviews to do while at the airport with people who have flown in from different countries um, to do these interviews at the airport. I know, but this, when I say fart, I mean, because I don't think you'll fart fart. Your fart will probably be a bit like this. <laughs> So are you going to be coming to Australia? And if so, do you want to go out drinking you and me into a pub? I mean, I hope I'm coming to Australia, but also I can't really drink beer. It doesn't work for me. What do you like to drink? I don't know, wine? <laughs> I can't go, I really can't have like the hard liquor. It doesn't work for me. So no, so no tequila shots? Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> tequila, I don't work with tequila. I cannot really drink hard liquor at all, basically. I'm okay with some wine and champagne and an occasional sea breeze. Do you guys have sea breezes down there? No, I'm not quite sure with it. Is that like a, a, like a cocktail uh, cooler thing? <laughs> it's kind of tacky when you drink one, actually. <laughs> but <laughs> it's, um, I think it's cranberry juice, grapefruit juice, and vodka. Oh, sounds good. I can tolerate, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, but I do not condone drinking. <laughs> oh, never do I. I don't this condone This is not it. a commercial. <laughs> I am you. I'll always be a meanie. <laughs> well, I don't think I'll be around to see that, and then neither will any of us. Also, ich weiß nicht. Also, ich glaube, niemand von uns wird das nächste Jahrtausend noch erleben. Maybe our ancestors will. Vielleicht unsere Nachfahren. I mean, our... What do you call children? Never mind. But it's still, but it's still, uh, also, uh, this is my favorite, favorite look of yours ever. Andre Leontali did happen to pop by. We had a fun time last night. We were talking. He was giving advice about their clothes. And he saw me walking around in the bodysuit and he was like, darling, you have to wear that. And the funniest thing about Mariah is that there is nothing funny about Mariah, okay? <laughs> Bianca, let me have a hand. Is there a complete and total wreck and mess? You're all around, you better check yourself before you wake yourself. Yeah, because it's mainly been the diet, though. I gotta tell you, the diet is, is bleakosity. You, you don't get much bleakosity. Can you eat butter? <laughs> well, not really. Gotta get a butter. Gotta have butter. Hey, uh, no, right. You know what? Whenever, every now and then I'll get But She came in and saw me the last time, which was like a week ago. She's like, now you can eat a whole meal. I will give you a steak. I will give you bread. <laughs> she went on hand and I was like, okay, I must be doing all right. She's letting me eat now. You know, you could do a voice in one of the next upcoming animated films. Hey, she does more voices than you would ever know. There's Eric Bradley hey, for you. I'm the Eric Six Bradley. Music Director. What's up, baby? I have in my back. I love you, Eric. I love you. <laughs> hey, Mariah, do your Aretha. Oh, I can't do that. Come on. What is your Good morning. Right? I don't have an uh, okay. that's, that. that's the late night one. All right. You want to, <laughs> you want that's, only, that's only because I revere her I know, and love your, her to pieces. She idols. is the world's funniest as well as most talented woman what ever. It? R E S P E E C T. It's yeah. not even a It's a speaking thing. voice. No, oh. she, she said it, she made a joke to me the first time I ever met her and I was like, wow, she's amazing. You know how sometimes you meet people and it's a letdown because like they'll be really famous. You've idolized them, you know, for just like the, the world has idolized Aretha Franklin. Whether singers know that they're influenced by her or not, they are. Mm -hmm. and any female singer singing any type of R&B music is influenced by her, whether they're via somebody else or just her. But the point being, she was just like, they wouldn't turn the air conditioning down because and singer 101 is you don't need air conditioning messing up your throat. Right. And basically, she was just like, Mariah, they're playing games, and I'm not having the games. So we won't be rehearsing this song tonight. Do you ever just say, tell me I don't want to talk about this right now, or just yeah. want to relax? and he says that to me, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then what do you say back when he says that? I say, oh, no, we're talking about it. That's it. <laughs> She's a Midwestern Irish-American who's also kind of like an opera diva, a very artistic kind of like, you know, drama queen. That's why diva to me, now that everybody talks about divas, my mother is like queen of all divas. She'd be like, hi, I'm here. Like, you know, the world stops. <laughs> Can I hear the accent from that? Because I hear it's hilarious. Well, I mean, <laughs> you're putting me on the freaking that. spot here. Whatever. <laughs> I can't talk like that all day long. You'll get me on the start. You'll get me started. Anyway. <laughs> Did you have to work it all to get it? Because I think that's probably closer to where, the, where you used to talk. No. no. I was never like, whatever. <laughs> my mother is elocution queen. Oh, my sure, mother's okay. like opera singer. My mother would be like, Mariah, what's going on? Uh huh. <laughs> Word, just be 
it's too bleak to sit in the audience for a whole award show for me. I can't take it. Like, man, you've got to go to them things to win. They won't give well, it to you otherwise. Well, then they got to change the lighting because it's not. <laughs> 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 it's bleak lighting. It's overhead, and they stick the camera in your face the whole time. I'm not trying to sit in the seat that long. Oh man, Whatever. wear a hat. You can do it. You can make it happen. A hat. What you have to. You have to go. All right. Yeah. On a scale from one to ten, what would be your grade in dance? Oh. Obviously, I don't think it's very high. <laughs> I'm a sanger songwriter. Fortunately, now I have an accountant and I don't have to do anything, <laughs> but I wouldn't know what to do. No. And, and your grades in school were low? Um, no, they were very good in English yeah. and creative writing and but things like end. that, but a complete mess when it comes to math. What did you do? <laughs> an apple for the teacher? Or? <laughs> no, I just didn't go to the class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and you gradu graduated anyway? Yeah, but you know, barely. <laughs> I hope it wasn't B-A-H, but it can pump it up. Okay, good. Thank you, guys. This album does have ballads on it. I don't want people to think I went crazy and think I'm like a hip-hop queen suddenly, and I'm like, not doing any ballads. Forget it. Choice, you know, when you decide to do that. It's not about like, hey, everybody else is having babies. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to have a baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> bang, dude. Pick anyone off the street and just bang them. <laughs> Mariah Carey has 500 hours of beauty school. Yes, I do. <laughs> I can do hair too. I have 500 hours beauty school. I'd show you, but his hair isn't exactly the type of hair I'm familiar with doing. <laughs> How many hours in hair beauty school did you have? 1,200. 1,200. See, I only had 500. You know why? Because I quit. <laughs> so I did go to beauty school, as you know. Yes. But I'm a beauty school dropout. So I'm not exactly beauty stellar. No graduation day for me <laughs> at all. Well, I do have 500 hours of beauty school. But I would be what is known as a beauty school dropout. So, Mariah, you dropped out of beauty school? What, I'm a beauty just... school dropout. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to do everybody's hair because I have five on nervous beauty school, which people know. Do not treat this as my, like, studio that I think is hot, okay? I'm building that one in the Bahamas. Oh. We're on a good plane now. The yeah. last plane trip was very budget rent-a-plane. Now you're on our fabulous plane. Exactly. Our fabulous plane. Blair and I collectively right. own this plane. <laughs> <laughs> I got the other plane, <laughs> then I, I I pulled it back and got this one. Yeah, the other plane well, like was... I kicked in more money <laughs> for the plane. Bye, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> what have you got for me today? Well, well, is it my new CD? Still? No, it's Mariah, but yeah, I, I didn't know it's Mariah. A real poster looks like it's not this. You know what? I don't like that. You love me. Adore me. Hate her. I'm sexy as hell. These are mine too. Go. I'm about to go to the party. Actually, my friend Bianca's inside. We might have a fight, I don't know. Jasmine might have to break it up. So, here we go. Goodbye, love. Maria Corey. Hello, Maria. And how are you today? Actually, it's Mariah Carey. Right. Whatever. Okay, now your last album, Horsefly, was quite interesting. Could you tell me about... Uh, you mean Butterfly? Fine, right. We've got the new uh, little latest effort out. It's called Prism, I believe. I don't know where you got this Prism thing from, but it's called Rainbow. Rainbow. So original. I called it Rainbow for a lot of different reasons. But, I mean, one being that I'm using a lot of different colors and textures of my voice and just musical influences that I'm kind of trying to showcase on the album, you know, as a writer and a producer and just collaborating with a lot of... Okay, let's show a bit of the video Heartbreaker from the remix. I'd like to watch this for a minute, shall we? Go to the videotape. Husband Amber Gel. Who's like Daniel? Amber Gel. Oh, we're back. I'm sorry. Sorry. Don't roll on that. Edit. Edit that out. So, we just listened to, we just watched the Heartbreaker remix video, and I'd like to talk to you about some of these lyrics here. Guess who's back in the house with two big tig old bitties for your 
mouth. What does that mean, actually? Actually, the part you're talking about is Debrat's verse. That's not even me um, doing that part. Oh, you have a child. <laughs> Right, it's so difficult after childbirth to regain your figure. That must be why you cut off the top of your jeans. You just couldn't quite button them up, could you? I cut the jeans off because my stylist came in and we were doing the shoot and she decided to cut the waistband. It was kind of cute. Oh, I see. It's a trend. You keep pretending and we'll keep believing. <laughs> Actually, speaking of trends, I have a new hairdo. I think it's absolutely fab. Don't you agree? Don't you agree, Poochie? Hello, Poochie. So pretty. Pretty like mommy. Actually, unfortunately, the real Poochie couldn't be here today because he gained a little, you know, weight in the hind quarters. You understand about those things. This is a complete mess. So anyway, Thank you, Maria, to all my Bianca fans out there. Much love, darlings. Love you. Big kiss. <laughs> now, I read in the paper that some reporter threw up on you. Is okay, this true? Okay, you yet gotta... another rumor we must dispel. Why do they always do this to me? Go ahead. Bianca's coming out. Guam's thirsty. There he is. That was a little drink. Um, anyway, do you know Bianca? I don't. She's my alter ego, actually. Did you see the Heartbreaker video? Yes, I did. We fight. And she hates me. She's hosting my, my tour. Oh, actually. really? So we don't know what's going to happen at all. All right, well, don't have a breakdown. Just tell me about the limousine. Okay, darling. We wanted to give you a little shout out. Nothing! 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 Oh, baby, you sound so good. This is Big Nasty. I want you to come on down. Check out the show in Tokyo, July 9th at Kings and Queens. And you're going to see me be as nasty as I want to be. Also, making a special appearance, there will be the chocolate eclairs, better known as the sweet mama do droppers. All right, here you go, baby. <laughs> Did you like the guy in the sweetheart video? I can't even think who was there, Mariah. Okay, I have to tell you. <laughs> Why did you bone him? No, I didn't okay. bone him. Just asking. You know what, Wendy? I just asking, Mariah. How, you, you first you say you can't even picture me like, boning. I can't. Okay, but I have to well, ask you as a woman. Why, well, why is that though? Because uh, there's something about you that you put out there that's so puritanical. Like I but, see but you, you. You're but, a DT, but, but like we then, used to call back in Ocean Township. Okay, you know what? You're not wrong. But and I've been accused of that. Since yeah, I you was are a, child. a DT. Since I was a child, yeah. I've been accused of that. Yeah. And you know what? I don't mean to do it. You know what it's like? It's like a six-year-old that just gets a bikini and thinks it's all dressed up. Like I a, understand. Like Barbie. You know I what I mean? Know. It's like I, Ava Barbie. Yes. Yeah. It's just fun and games. But it's but not. When it's when time you, to go home, it's like, bye-bye. That's right. And then you, you send the, women ho the men home with uh, BBs. Well, listen. Yeah, right? If I meet somebody that's willing to put in the time, <laughs> willing to put in the time that yes. connects with me emotionally, yeah. Yeah. and spiritually and all of that stuff, then yay. I bet you're good at presents, aren't you? I bet you buy great presents. How do you know that? I just can tell. People tell me that all the time. Do they? Yeah, they do. What's the best present you bought someone? Um, a house. <laughs> hey, Victor, can I help you? Hi, is Boyz II Men in there? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> she knows we're calling from in the building. <laughs> the color is so cute. Oh, oh, oh you have a little broccoli right here in the teeth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Excuse oh. me, guys. I just like to drive and listen to the radio. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Sorry, the habit. So where are we going tonight? Um, I'm taking you to a party. Kidnapping you. Yeah. <laughs> so just buckle up for safety. All right. They don't understand that it hurts to lie on the floor. It's not soothing to the buttocks. It's more about like the fragrance and how it smells. Oh my goodness. Man. What happened? A Did button, somebody a throw something at Mariah? A button done fell off the jacket. <laughs> uh -oh. There you go. <laughs> I would pick it up, but my skirt's too short, and I'm and not gonna have a. Too I'm not gonna have a scandal. I, I, I would pick it up for you. Caesar's Palace. They used to say, "Yeah, you played the palace. You freaking hit it big." I'm not at home sitting there with my calculator, like, "Well, I was number one this week." So. <laughs> it's like you know, that's your nickname for days gone by. Really, it was like predominantly three or four people who used it, and two of those people are family members and very close to my heart. But it's not like I run around, come and meet me. Uh, on the phone, our old pal Mariah Carey, everybody. That's pretty cool, huh? Oh, you get the loud. I'm in the shower. Mariah. I, I like to sing in the shower. You... Heartbreak, you got the best on me. I think she's been uh, drinking some of that champagne this morning. Mariah. How's that? You're actually in the shower? I'm totally nude in the God, shower. God bless you. Hold on, let me see if I can see you here. Where are How's you? Sound? I don't know, I'm trying to look for you in the shower. Come on, am I singing? Chop, you're doing good. You sing good in the shower. It doesn't matter how I look. If I'm singing, how I wake you got the best of me. But cross and keep on coming back in this only Mariah. What time is it there? I don't know where I am. Hey, I'm telling you. Are you okay? No, I'm a complete and total mess. Did you order eggs Benedict and a bottle of Jack Daniels this morning from room service? No, baby. I've been up for 48 hours straight. All right, have I you went from Venezuela, which is where my grandfather is from, yeah. to L.A. to work on my homecoming special, which is airing on Fox December 14th, which I went back to my junior high and I did a whole show at yeah. my junior high in the gym. Tell us about that. Now, this is going to air tomorrow night. What yeah, was that like for you? Like a lot of, um, a lot of the faculty members were still there, and a lot of kids that go to the school had um, brothers and sisters who were older who went to the school when I was there. So it was kind of like coming full circle, and I felt really good about it because I, you know, having my own issues, basically an insecure kid. You know, it, it was it was very um, right. Were the were the junior high years good years for you as we watched no, you? No, they were a complete before? and total joke. Yeah. <laughs> so did you go back with a little bit of revenge, saying, "Hey, hey, look at me now"? No, nah, I mean we had fun. Jay Z came, the brat came, 98 degrees, and I did a little thing at the end, and it was cool. Oh. I mean, you know what? No, it's not revenge for me. I, I'm a very optimistic person. It's all about like for me uh, in my healing process as like trying to grow up and become an adult. Yeah. It's like. Um, do you know you're talking to me in the shower, by the way? Yeah, I know. You're, you're naked in the shower right now. Did my high notes sound good? Yeah, they sounded very nice. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking the new MTV Unplugged special, You in the Shower. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're a mess right now. I told them. We have to do it in the beginning. No, it's good. Go Listen. and break my heart. I, I don't think I've ever done uh, an interview with uh, Mariah Carey while she's naked in the shower. This is good. Um, tell us now about. I'm going to get into the bathtub. Okay, we're out of the shower. Okay. I'm walking towards the bathtub. Okay, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Can you hear this? Now I'm in the bathtub. You went, so there's a shower and a bathtub. Yeah, because you gotta clean off the germs and then you get into the bathtub. You want to have a little phone sex? Come on, Carson. I have a new boyfriend. Come on. What He's really the hell? nice. And I, and I can't do that. Thing. It's worth a shot, right? No, Carson. Oh. Come on. Come on. How are you doing? Come on. What are you wearing right now? Come on. What are you doing? Oh, you're naked. Wearing right? nothing. I'm new. I'm I, know, I thought you might have put on one of those little nighties or something there. Nighties? Do, do you have like the candles around in the back? No candles. Huh? It's just freaking... 
hotel lighting and a bathtub. Uh, who is your new boyfriend you were just speaking of moments ago? I'm not talking about anything except the fact that I'm finally happy, finally feeling like somebody understands me, and finally feeling okay. Just tell me what team he plays for. He doesn't play for a team, he's a singer. He's an international superstar in Latin America. Ricky Martin has a girlfriend, finally? No, Ricky, it's not Ricky Martin, oh. honey, baby. Damn. Luis Miguel, he doesn't do English music, but he doesn't have to. You're going and to Luis Miguel? he's the Miguel? biggest selling artist in Latin America ever. And he doesn't have to sing in English, he doesn't want to. I've heard of him. He's the best, and he bought me, he tried to bring me um, all the roses that they had in, um, in Vegas. He likes to send me like 10 dozen roses, yeah. but they didn't have that many. <laughs> oh. So he sent me for the congratulatory award. He, sound, he sounds like quite the, uh, the gentleman. Well, I hope He's you guys... amazing. Good. Uh, what are you doing for New Year's? You want to come, uh, you and Luis, come and hang out here with us? What do you, what do you guys got going on? We're out on our own party. Oh. No, you you guys can come with us. All right, now, yeah, sure. Carson, don't you miss me? I do, but this is cool. You know, you're, you're nude in the tub, and we got to chat and catch up a little bit. And congratulations on the, uh, what did you win last week, the Artist of the Year Award or the Billboard thing? Artist of the Decade. Oh, the Decade? Yeah, that's great. Congratulations on that. You look if, great. Give me a little bit. That's great. That's yeah. not that. Well, Mariah, uh, you've won every award known to man so far. No, I haven't. They diss me quite frequently on many an award show. Yeah. Well, we can just give it up for the. Um, I've, I've had no personal life yeah. in the entire decade. Yeah, you're doing good. I've grown up in the freaking spotlight. Yeah. Carson, come on, give it a bit more. I, I'm applauding here for you. No, what? you're not. You sound like when you sound, when you're being kind of, I don't know. Carson, come on. This is what, uh, we, oh, we got, we Give me an go. artist of the decade! Artist of the decade, give Mariah Carey. You are unbelievable. <laughs> Incredible. And everybody in the studio, thank you. Yeah. Because what I said on Billboard, which is really true, is that this award belongs to my fans because yeah. I have the best, you do. most devoted you do. fans in the history of the world. And the fans uh, are responsible for picking the videos on this show. Good luck. We'll all be watching you uh, revisiting your junior high school tomorrow, Mariah Carey. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's gonna be pretty special. cool. It's gonna be kind of moving, but it was pretty cool. We'll and check thank that you out. everybody for requesting. Um, thank God I found you on TRL, and 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 keep it going, please, because it's a very important song to me. Very and good. Um, Carson. Yeah, baby. Good, good luck I enjoyed you. Good luck in the tub. Thanks for calling in, Mariah. Well, I need luck in the top when you get out All right, we'll see you back in New York. Mariah, care, everybody. At number Bye, seven, here's Destiny's Child with Bugle. Let's talk about calories. Calories? I don't know. Try not to have as many as, you know, you might want sometimes, and sometimes you don't want to eat anything at all. Don't know how to answer that. <laughs> and because I was pregnant when I was creating this stuff, I was like, uh-oh, I need a camouflage -in moment. As David keeps yelling at me, you're a car model, and you love this because you love it. You're happy, you're a car model. Woo! Car model. Careful, careful, easy, easy, take it slow. So your father was black. Yes, it And is. I know it was been rough for you because I even know he, let, he, didn't he try to sue you for part of your no, career? No, 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 that was someone completely different. That was my mother's second husband, but I can't even get into that. You can't? Because no. that's a horrible thing, you know. Yeah, that's kind of wrong. Oh. Yeah. Hey, what are you going to do? He's trying to say he was responsible for your career and take Please. your money. Yeah, he fixed one of my cavities. <laughs> Isn't it kind of sad, though? <laughs> Isn't it kind of sad? All these things, I'm like, hello, I've been traveling around the world for the past year, like uh, sleep-deprived, malnourished, you know, celery-eating uh, workaholic. Everybody's right. like, oh, she changed her name, and I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. The one who built this apartment. I said, let's just make a room that's a steam room that you can... It doesn't have to be, like, blazing hot or, like, steam coming out like it's Cheech and Chong moments. <laughs> but it's definitely, like... <laughs> I'm a fan of yours, Mariah. Thank you very much. I like your record. I will always love you. Oh, you do? Yeah. That's not me, boo. So if you were my fan, you would know that ain't me, Chong. <laughs> This is a moment. This is a surprise moment. Never. This doesn't happen on video shoots where a superstar of this magnitude just shows up and said, "Okay, let me get in the car." Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Tucker. What's up? Shake your business. That's what I did. The one in the song. Shake it off. Shake it. I told her to shake him off. Shake it off. He ain't for you. That's when Chris sings my song. Though, can you sing a little bit? And it's gonna be a the tone get her up. She's gonna be a dun 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 we belong together. Somebody's daddy. Oh, they're gonna be up in the time, get her up. 
This is Blue Gossidy. So we landed, but I guess we have to like clear customs or some kind of thing. I don't know. It's supposed to be the European thing where you don't have to stop anywhere. But I guess that is a lie. Right now, all you need to say is immigration in London have just taken, just had a woolly scarf. We've been sitting on this plane for a good, what is it, 45 an hour? An hour. Hour. And so now we're allowed in London. I have to call Prince Charles about this. Charles? I'll be like, Chucky. <laughs> anyway, we got all these stuff and we should jump in the club. It's funny because when I'm in a club, it's like they'll clear out this VIP section and I feel really bad because they'll like be like, oh, Mariah Carey's coming, like, get out. And I never tell people to do that, but then I get to the club and I realize that's what they've done. So a lot of times it'll just be like me and my friends in the room and we're like, you know, it's a little bit weird. The next time you see me, we will be on the set of Heartbreaker. Hopefully everything will go well because this is a complete and total mess right now. First of all, I've been thoroughly abused today, okay? I was kicked, I've been dragged across the floor. I was pulling up on this thing and my arm was a complete and total mess. And are you cooking for any man these days? You know it's the weight of their heart. <laughs> You're a fan of Courtney Love's Hole. Yeah. I have to practice my little Japanese phrase that I learned, okay? <laughs> now if I say this wrong, you know, gotta cut me a break here because I'm new in town. I'm gonna say it slow. Kono kyoku wa totemo sameshi kyoku desu. Kono kyoku wa, I don't wanna cry. Right? Kyoku? I don't know. I'm American, man. The <laughs> thing about it is, we can drink from a paper cup. We can drink from a crystal cup. This real deep in my cup in there, so yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you love the people in America, yeah, let's just get a cup in there. That's right. That's right. Salute, and that's Mariah. Huh?